So this is a left knee and uh, we're going to demonstrate a segmental meniscal transplant uh, today. Left knee, this patient uh, had a partial medial mastectomy, you can see here, pretty classic uh, tear that's been trimmed to the posterior horn. Here's our root. And this was the transition of removing the tear. So the first order of business is we want to prepare for the allograft segmental transplant. So I like to remove uh, much of the native remaining meniscus back to about a millimeter or so for the meniscal sites to help regrow into the allograft segmental transplant. So first thing we're gonna do is we've got to prepare this rim. So I'm gonna come in in the area of the tear, come back toward the capsule attachment and remove the remaining meniscus here. Millimeter or two to the rim is what I like to do. And then we'll prepare the rim with a rasp to further enhance the ability for this incorporation of the allograft. So I try to leave a, a 90 degree angle here to the back where we'll suture the segmental to the native area of the posterior horn there. And then here up to the anterior aspect of the area of the tear. So there's our preparation. You can see we've got back about a millimeter or two of the native rim, and that's where our segmental meniscus is gonna fit in. Now I take my meniscal rasp, and I wanna stimulate bleeding from the native capsule attachment here. This is where the blood flow is to the meniscus coming from the periphery. So I'll go here, a little bit underneath the capsule, to help enhance the healing here. And then we've gotta measure our defect. So these are two millimeter marks. So we can measure, there's 10 is the bold mark there, 20, 22, looks like 24 there, in terms of our anterior posterior dimension. So we're gonna use our zone navigator and we're gonna pass our four sutures in the native remaining meniscal rim. And that is how we will pull the segmental meniscus into the joint and attach it and actually suture it to the capsule. So we have the zone navigator, and we're gonna pass first the posterior super suture. So here's our needle loaded. Passing through the native rim of meniscus, retrieve that needle percutaneously on the posterior medial side. So there's good position of that needle. Now we're gonna pass a suture, a shuttle suture, so we have our tiger link. We'll pass the free end. And the loop part of the link will allow us to pull the meniscal sutures in for the actual segmental transplant. Okay. So that's our first suture. Now we're gonna place our second suture, posterior inferior. Now we'll do the same thing. We'll take another tiger and pass it through the loop part of our wire. So for distinction, so we know which one is superior, this is just a straight uh, fiber wire suture, O5 wire, and this is a uh, suture tape. So it has a double black on it. So this will orient us so we know which one is posterior superior and which one's posterior inferior when we pass the corresponding sutures placed in the segmental meniscus posteriorly. So now we're gonna take our zone navigator. I've moved the scope to the medial portal and I'm gonna come in laterally now and make our pass for the anterior superior, anterior inferior. So here's the anterior superior. Again, we're passing our needle, which has the loop on the end and we use that loop to pass through our sutures and here we're going to use a blue fiber wire and a blue suture tape to distinguish. So here's our blue fiber wire which will be our anterior superior shuttle suture for the graft. And then we'll pass our anterior inferior. So you get a feel here 
of our management of these four sutures and these four sutures will pull the graft in oriented the two posterior ones super inferior the two anterior ones anterior inferior so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to check the depth um, from the capsule rim to the free edge and this is a probe those are marks are five millimeters so it looks like it's about 10 for the depth of our segmental graft so our next step here for suture management is we place the 12 millimeter passport in the medial portal but we have our four quadrant divider so now we can separate our four sutures which will make a big difference in terms of later passage so I'm going to come through here first and I'm going to grab the posterior superior tiger wire suture and pull it out one slot so now I'll come in just below that and grab the posterior inferior so this is really helpful to keep these separate so when we pass our graft we'll have our sutures all in the right spot now I'll come in and grab the anterior superior through the top left divider So now we'll get the anterior inferior, which is right there, through our last segment down here. So now you can see the divider. We've separated the posterior superior, posterior inferior, anterior superior, anterior inferior. So we're in those quadrants now, which will make passage of our sutures in the meniscal segmental transplant much easier when we pull it into the joint. And then we'll tie those sutures that we pass directly on the capsule for our fixation. So before we go and create the exact match for the segmental meniscal, the last measurement I want to do is just how far I am from the posterior defect to the root. So when I go to this to the specimen, I can match that up. So you can see here to the root attachment, I'm about six millimeters, maybe seven. So that will allow me when I go back and cut the specimen I'll try to leave seven millimeters from the root of the specimen and then of course cut 25 to the front just a reference point that I think is helpful now we'll go back to our back table and prepare our segmental meniscal specimen to fit this is our meniscal allograft medial meniscus so now we're going to cut the suitable segmental allograft and based on our measurements interoperatively we're going to measure seven millimeters from the root and make a mark right at the bowl there then we're going to make our first cut and we remembered our orientation which was slightly oblique so it's not so much in that plane but we remember what we did we were slightly oblique we're going to come back to the capsule in that plane we want to take a little bit of this capsule attachment for blood supply if we're a little bit big, we could trim the inner aspect if we need, but we think for healing, we need this capsule attachment. So intraoperatively, we measure 25 with our anterior posterior, but I think for sizing purposes, cutting one millimeter less is best. So we make sure that the segmental meniscus fits ideally, and then we can tension it with additional suturing if we need to. But I do not want it to be too big anterior to posterior uh, because then you'll have to cut it again. So. Our experience has been to cut it one millimeter less. So here's our mark. We're going to go to 24, kind of from the mid portion of the meniscus where we measured from, make our posterior mark there. So now we're going to make our second cut. And this one is a little bit oblique in the opposite angle. So we're not going to cut like this. We're going to cut more like that. So remember our angle visually. So we're going to make our cut in this plane right here. So there we put our measuring device, we're right at 24, which is what we wanted, one less than what we measured interoperatively. And what I was saying is we might be a touch long here, we're measuring about 12 to the rim, but um, if we needed to trim a little of this on the free edge, we could. This is the working part of the meniscus, your circumferential hoop fibers, that's what we're trying to preserve here. So now we have to pass our sutures in the peripheral aspect of the meniscus that will tie to the capsule using our shuttle sutures that we placed on the joint side. So if you put the meniscus on end, here's the posterior aspect. So first I'm going to pass with this small needle with a loop on it. I'm going to go through the posterior inferior segment of the meniscus here through the capsule, getting a good bite. And we'll pass now the black and white 
which corresponds to the posterior inferior suture we passed on the joint side. And we're going to create a cinch here, so this will give us good purchase in the meniscus. So that's our first pass. So now we're going to create our cinch. Give us good purchase in this peripheral aspect of the meniscus. Okay. So that's our posterior inferior. So we're passing posterior superior. So we have our shuttle loop. This is for our other cinch, black and white. And we'll create this cinch. So what you can see here is when we tie to this the capsule, we're going to tie these two on the outside of the native capsule to pull the meniscus and hold it in place. And you get great purchase because of the thick circumferential hoop fibers peripherally with the meniscus. So this really gives you a really good purchase. So here's our prepared segmental allograft getting ready to transplant into the patient. So as we've been talking about for suture management purposes, we have passes through the peripheral aspect of the meniscus, posterior inferior, uh, double black here, and posterior superior, single black. And that'll correspond to the same sutures we placed earlier for passage. And then the anterior aspect, the anterior inferior, um, is striped and the anterior superior is plain blue. So blue in the uh, front, black in the back, through the peripheral aspect of the meniscus. And those are cinch sutures, so we have a good purchase of the meniscus. And then we're going to tie the anterior superior to the anterior inferior, posterior superior to posterior inferior, directly on the capsule to get our fixation. So again, here's our graft oriented. Remember the two black cinches in the posterior part of the meniscus, the two blues anterior. We've got a great team helping me here. So we're going to now pass the corresponding double black with the previously passed suture through the posterior inferior aspect of the meniscus. And now let's pass, we'll pull that through. Then we'll pass the posterior superior now. Again, we're color coordinated to keep things straightforward. Then we'll use those two with the kingfisher to deliver our graft into position. So now we're going to come through our medial portal. We had taken, of course, the passport cannula out. So use the kingfisher to guide my graft in. We made that portal just a little bit bigger. So now you can see we delivered the posterior part in. We'll maintain traction on that. And now we very simply just pass our blues for the anterior and we secure our meniscus. We'll just double check to make sure our passport helped us, but we'll make sure we're not crossed at all. There's our bottom, so we're clear there. So there's no soft tissue bridges, so we're clear. And again, the passport with the dividers allowed us to do that. So now the double blue is the posterior inferior. You can see there on the screen coming through. Perfect. So you can see what we're doing now. We've passed these and we'll tie those directly to the capsule. It'll give us great fixation with the peripheral aspect of the allograft transplant to the native capsule, which we prepared earlier, including the rasp to help get some good healing. And then we'll finish the repair as needed with some fiber stitch all inside sutures. So you can see it looks like we have a nice fit. And again, if we needed to trim a little of this free edge, we could. I'm more interested in having that good secure capsular tissue for security of the meniscus. So if we had to trim a little bit of this in the back, we could, but we'll see. We might make that up with a fiber stitch in the back. We'll put a fiber stitch here and here and one in the front. So I'm tying these sutures down to the capsule and that's reducing the meniscus even more. So through a small medial incision, we're tying directly to the capsule. That's what I'm doing here for our posterior superior, posterior inferior. Now I'm going to tie my anterior superior, anterior inferior. So you can see we've got this perfectly sewn. And here we might trim a little of this, but that's okay. 
So now we're going to put um, an onside fiber stitch in and just to help reduce that just a bit better in the front. So we put our half pipe in for our fiber stitch. We have different curves. So we're just delivering our fiber stitch. Then come to the front of the native. Take our probe. Bring our mattress down and complete it. So this is the uh, cutting device. So we've loaded the suture. We just bring it down to the knot, push and cut. So you can see we've got an excellent reduction now anteriorly. Now we'll put one posteriorly. So here's our completed segmental meniscal allograft transplant. and. Um, I just trimmed a little bit of that back edge. Remember, this, this graph was not matched to this patient. So, but you think, I think we had a very good fit. You see, here's my uh, spanning suture to the posterior horn, anterior horn. I've got two of the capsular sutures tied, and we put that additional vertical mattress. So it's totally stable. Can't displace it at all. We replaced the meniscus. Looks pretty normal. So I'm really happy with how that came out. Put the knee through a range of motion, flexion, all the sutures hold fine. You can see the meniscus. Femur rolls back, meniscus goes with it. Right there, meniscus going back with the femur, normal rollback. So really happy with that transplant.